is maleness. And that is Dr. Evelyn Billings. So what incredible power a woman has. If only our feminist sisters could get a handle on this one, I would like personally to shout it from the rooftops. Real woman, women need real men. As they complement each other, they complete each other. Each is called to self-realization through the priceless gift of oneself. He receives himself by giving himself. She receives herself by giving herself. This is how husband and wife love each other as the image and likeness of God, by expressing physically the love that binds the divine persons together. This is how husband and wife love each other without domination of one over the other. You can't dominate someone you are totally giving yourself to. Love is not about domination. May the Lord and giver of life bless you abundantly, Chun Li, for teaching NFP up there in Canada. You will be blessed, my little sister in Christ. Thanks for the email. Barbara, recently in the headlines, there was a situation Catholics were a little bit upset because the architect of the Common Core curriculum, David Coleman, was slated to headline a National Catholic Education Conference. And Mimi from Beloit, Wisconsin, writes in and says, Barbara, I hope you'll have time to address this on your open line show uh, soon. And that's Mimi in Beloit, Wisconsin, talking about Common Core and David Coleman. Okay, well, Mimi, thanks for your email. This is just a shame, and it makes one wonder if the problem goes much deeper. I read that the Cardinal Newman Society's Catholic Education Honor Roll recently told the Newman Society that CCSS, that's Common Core State Standards, pose a significant conflict to Catholic curricula and found the standards severely wanting in crucial areas of faithful Catholic education, such as intellectual and moral formation. Here's exactly what senior fellow and manager of the Society's Catholic Education Honor Roll, Jamie Arthur, said. Regardless of the standards employed, Catholic identity must be at the core of instruction and pedagogy, implemented by faithful administrators and teachers who understand the importance of their role in the formation of students. It's no secret so many Catholic schools and universities have given up their Catholic identity. Follow the money and you know why. The same organization, the NCEA, that it identifies itself as the national voice for Catholic schools and is bringing in the so-called architect of Common Core, David Coleman, to be the keynote for their annual convention in March 2016. This same organization, keep this in mind now, received $100,000 from Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is the primary source of private funding for the promotion of Common Core state standards, and from which the Catholic schools who bought into these standards get funding for doing so. What is most unfortunate the Cardinal Newman Society immediately noted that this same organization that is supposed to function as the national voice for Catholic schools, quote, deceptively omitted, end quote, Coleman's relationship with Common Core from his bio in the convention's program. No doubt. Coleman is named along with his current title as CEO and president of the College Board, the organization that has worked to align the SAT with the Common Core and has altered the Advanced Placement U.S. History Framework to reflect a leftist, revisionist view of America's past. When we consider that over 130 of our nation's most prominent Catholic scholars have publicly warned that David Coleman's philosophy as embodied in Common Core is antithetical to true Catholic education should be a big red flag to Catholic bishops. When noted Catholic scholars band together to fight against Common Core, Hopefully, those with good sense will take it to heart. I want you to listen to just four sentences in their letter. Promoters of Common Core say that it is designed to make America's children, quote, college and career ready, end quote. 
We instead judge Common Core shortchanges to be a recipe for standardized workforce preparation. Common Core shortchanges the central goals of all sound education and surely those of Catholic education to grow in the virtues necessary to know, love, and serve the Lord, to mature into a responsible, flourishing adult, and to contribute as a citizen to the process of responsible, democratic self-government. In fact, we are so convinced that Common Core is so deeply flawed that it should not be adopted by Catholic schools which have yet to approve it, and that those schools which have already endorsed it should seek an orderly withdrawal now. Back to David Coleman. Uh, David Coleman is keynote speaker. Jane Robbins, senior fellow in education at American Principles Project, said, but now we have the NCEA giving Coleman a place of honor on its program. The danger is that Catholic schools will become just public schools with a crucifix on the wall, which is not what most Catholic parents want or are paying for. A Louisiana, a Louisiana parent activist and authors told Breitbart News that when many of us who had concerns with the Common Core agenda and contacted Catholic organizations such as the NCEA to hear the responses, trust us, we are only adapting Common Core and, quote, you won't notice a change, predicted that this alliance between the Common Core machine and NCEA. This led to us creating a letter addressed to the bishops in charge of Catholic schools requesting their assistance. Authors said the choice of Coleman is at odds with the true goals of Catholic education at a time when many Catholic students have little connection to the teachings of the Catholic faith. It is very disheartening that instead of focusing on the issue of the loss of Catholic identity in many of our Catholic schools, the NCEA is shining a light on the man who brought us a new educational agenda that pushes a curriculum that works against our traditional Catholic education and identity. In addition, his Common Core creation has recently been followed by the lowest SAT scores in a decade, as well as the first drop in National Assessment of Educational Progress, NAEP, scores in over two decades. Okay, so my question is, is it a possibility that not every Catholic recognizes the importance of Catholic identity? measured by obedience to Christ and the teaching magisterium of his church? As Bishop Kevin Rhodes wisely said just a few days ago, Catholic identity is not only about what we stand for, it is also about what we will not stand for. Thanks again, Mimi, for bringing this to our attention. And very quickly, Barbara, Phyllis in Douglas, Georgia, writes that she's teaching an RCIA class. Normally she works with adults, but this year working with 15 to 20-year-olds, both males and females in the class. And she's wondering if you have any pro-life principles and info that you could have her share with those young people. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hear the music. Should we do this when we come back? <laughs> There is no coming back, Barbara. I thought oh, maybe you could throw no, something out there for no Mimi real back. quick. Okay. Well, oh, <laughs> sorry, Jack. Well, uh, you know what? I was giving her a few uh, points about um, what I put together, and it's called um, a CD called Whom Do You Worship, God or the Zeitgeist, which I intend to, to send off to. We got about four or five emails on this. Uh, so, you know, uh, I, I praised her for what she's doing. It's a beautiful thing. Good job out of you, Phyllis, and good job out of you, Barbara McGuigan. Appreciate your time. We'll be back at it all week. We'll be here for Thanksgiving and Friday with brand new content on tape shows. Until we get together next time, God bless.
Sorry, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Why did y'all skip over your marine story? I wanted you to we do didn't, that. We said it takes 12 minutes to read, and by the time you finished the question before, we only had eight minutes left in the show. Oh, is that the way it went? Yeah. Okay. So. Well, next time we do this, I'll try to be shorter. No, it was fine. I thought the uh, answers were outstanding. You did a lot of work on it. And, I did. Uh, it sounded I did. fantastic.